I forgot the computer. <laughs> He's gonna edit all of this out anyway, so hi to whatever alternate dimension sees this, that sees, it's probably the same dimension that sees laundry socks that disappear. Oh no, no one's seeing this. Oh, I know. I said it's gonna be, it's gonna be edited and it'll go off. I'm talking to whatever other alternate dimension sees this, where things go to- Well, get, maybe, get maybe they'll see it now. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to idiots of Corbin. I'm Rick. 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 I hope I annoyed you. For those of you who don't like me, <laughs> you did annoy me. Good. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> you marachots. Oh, hey! -o. Uh, I love it when people get offended by this. Me too. <laughs> no. I love it when people get offended with the mother jokes because I still get messages that say, <laughs> no. you know, it's not really nice to make fun of your mothers, and here in India, we're really respectful to our mothers. And well, I'm not talking about your mother. Now I am. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, today we're doing a movie review of the new uh, film that I think it dropped last week, I believe. It's uh, the 2021 uh, Malayalam film, Nay Nayatu, right? I, that's my guess. Which I believe it said in the beginning means hunt, the hunt, mm -hmm. right? Uh, directed by... Uh, directed by Martin Prakat, uh -huh. written by Shahi Kabir, score by Vishnu Vijay, director of photography, and then you can say Shiju Khalid, and then it stars... Uh, Joju George as Money Appen, yeah. Conchakcho Bobin as Previn Michael, and Namisha Sajayan as Sumita. Yes. And then obviously there's there's other people as well, but those are the, the, yeah. the three main ones of, of this film. And it's a uh, it's a thriller, for sure. Uh, but it's not like, like an action thriller, for sure. I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't it's classify a, it as, as, as an action thriller. It's a... How would you call it? I don't even know if you call it a murder mystery. A drama -ler. Yeah, It's I a guess. drama thriller. Drama thriller, for Crime, sure. Crime. Political. Poli slight, yeah, some political. Yeah. Anyways. Any, anyway. Uh, but, and it's our 33rd this year. Oh, really? 158th all time. 14th Malayalam. Are you sure 14th? I thought it was 15th. I thought it was 14th. I don't know. Anyway. I could be wrong. Uh, but yes, if you haven't watched it, go watch it, come back. Um, Unless you like being spoiled, to be naughty spoiled. naughties. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. I really enjoyed it. Really? Uh, I did. I, I didn't love it, mm -hmm. but I, I enjoyed it. For me, I was telling, you know, Andrani asked me what I thought about it, and I said, I, all of the leads and the supportings are solid. There's a couple of day players that aren't mm -hmm. so strong, but again, that does, it, acting's hard. Yeah, it's hard to find good actors for every single role. It's why it's so much applauded whenever we see it. Mm -hmm. um, I thought uh, it, it it wouldn't be something I would say deserves the film festival circuit, it, but it is definitely something that if you want to have a really good time getting engrossed in a story, interested, uh, I think you would enjoy it. There's some things we'll get into yeah. that I had the, the challenges with. Some are personal that are not the film's fault, but for the most part, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I felt the exact same way. I liked it uh, a lot, and uh, there was a lot of people. I because I, I I did see the hype about this film, and it's like I love this film, and I, I didn't feel that. Mm -hmm. Maybe I would, obviously, because this I film definitely has a message. And yeah, I, it's that's definitely it's, got a great it's, message. it's a strong message about the political system in India. Is I think uh, a lot of it, and obviously, maybe if I was in that world, yeah. I might even feel that even more. Absolutely, and I know about that stuff that those goings on, with the, <laughs> the local politics, the the, the the national politics in India with the police and everything like that. I think it, I think um, the 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 regional and local and Indian aspect of it being yeah. personal and would make you more uh, interested and enjoy it more. Yeah. Comparable to say if. Indians saw Bombshell, mm. they'd understand it, but it wouldn't hit home like it does yeah. for us yeah. who've lived that. Yeah, for sure. So I think it's, I understand Indians who would say, I freaking love this movie and I love its message and I want other people. Yeah, so, there, I get it. There's, there's not a lot wrong with this film. There's, yeah. there's some stuff that I, that I, we will point out, but I did really enjoy, I really enjoyed the three leads. Me too. Uh, so we can talk about them. The, the one that we know of. Yeah, for sure, is uh, from uh, the Great Indian, Great Indian Kitchen. kitchen. Uh, I thought she did a really good job. I, she was very subtle in this one. She yeah. hardly had, a, she didn't have very many lines, honestly. Really didn't have a lot of lines. Honestly, <laughs> the three leads didn't have a lot of lines. It no. was mostly like a follow, uh, like you're, they're trying to find these 
uh, murderers. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and, and all that going on. And I thought she did a really good job. Uh, and it's very different from her role in, in uh, The Great Indian Kitchen. Very different. Almost an unrecognizable aspect yeah. of, of the characters. The characters are so... They're very different. They have a similarity. In fact, it would I, I would wonder if over time watching role selections that she gets, either by reason of people see her this way or it's her preference, these, uh, th these characters that are put in positions with circumstances that are beyond their control and they're yeah. oppressed, because that's a similarity. But yeah. other than that, it was very different, very grounded. I, I loved him. Uh, yeah, who? What's his name? I, I don't remember who he was. In, it's Joju George. Joju George, yeah. He was in Virus, but I can't place him. I'd have to. I don't. I'd remember. have to go back and look. Yeah, I, I know he's because I've heard that name before. Yeah, uh, Juju jo uh, George, um, and I think he's like a, a well-known uh, actor. In, yeah, in I checked his page. Industry. I'm pretty sure he's got a he's got a pretty big resume. Uh, let me see. Maybe there's something. Yeah, like he's got like 80 films in his. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out if they're... He's in Trant, uh, Trance, and that's uh, with Fafa. I know that. He's Virus. Mm -hmm. um, Joseph, we've heard yeah, quite a bit of I liked him a lot. He I had a too. very interesting role because uh, in, I, I, I think he would probably love that the director and the writer wrote it this way. Because right at the beginning, you're like, hmm, this guy's not that good. Right. He's, he's a corrupt cop because mm -hmm. obviously he was framed whoever was at the thing. He poured yeah, gas, poured the on, gas it on it and poured, uh, poured it up and then told a lie about what exactly happened to help his friends. And then you you end up feeling bad for him. Yeah. You feel really, really bad for his character. Right. And, and the fact that he, he wants to spend time with his daughter, but he's also, there's not really a cut and dry, like he's a good guy, he's a bad right. guy. He's, he's, he's a very gray character. Exactly. And I thought he played it very well. I did too. And it's not as, this character isn't a story where you see someone get their comeuppance like Michael Douglas's character in Wall Street, mm -hmm. who is just this, you find out more and more about this guy. He just uses people that if when he gets used, mm -hmm. you're like, yeah. That's what you get for being that guy. Mm -hmm. You don't get that with this character. Yeah. And yeah, I, I agree. It's a testament to the writing. It's a testament to his portrayal of the character, which the, uh, the, the combination of direction, writing, and cinematography mm -hmm. yeah. was not only really good, but when you look at their resumes, those three don't have extensive work. Yeah, the, the so director, cinematographer, and writer. They're, all three of them have only four or five films apiece. Yeah. So this is a pretty mature... At times, some of this vision, especially the night shots, were really pretty. Yeah, the, the cinematography of with the directing and cinematography, the there were some really great tracking shots in mm -hmm. this. The cinematography at some point, like when there was a song overplaying when they were trying to get away, yeah. they were on a bus or a train or a truck or whatever. Yeah, the, they were using drones or whatever. There yeah. were some gorgeous shots. Yeah, in this film, and the, like you said, the night shots were all really, really gorgeous, mm -hmm. and like it was. I mean, it wasn't exactly, obviously, um, Jolly Taku, obviously, with right. those night shots. But no. obviously, you didn't really need that for this film. No. Um, but I thought it was absolutely gorgeous, as well as the score. I Thank loved you. the score. I, I, in fact, the score was so good, again, someone with not a lot of experience. Really? And it was so good, I thought, I'm going to take a guess. This is the same person who did the score for Merzifer. Because this score is freaking great. Mm -hmm. And I went and looked and it had like five films. I'm like, oh my goodness. So this team of creatives mm -hmm. make more movies because that is as solid as it gets. I thought the story was very good. The things for me, I had the same issue come up. And this is a me issue. It's not because I'm a, I expect it to be something different. It's just foreign. Tell me if you had the same experience. Mm. Where... Uh, I think the first time I articulated this was the consistency with which it came up in Delhi crime, mm. which is just the way local law enforcement does things or doesn't do things in comparison to what we know yeah. here. In a show like Family Man, it's not as prevalent because that's dealing with international law mm -hmm. and I'm more familiar with it. But when we're dealing with something like this where you're dealing with regional police mm -hmm. and regional politics, it's, just, very different. it's yeah. just so, so different and it makes you go, why aren't they? Yeah. But you can't judge it that way because yeah. that's not the way, they and don't do it that way there. Honestly, I think the way, the why isn't it certain ways is because of the politics of it all, which is absolutely one of the, part of the message. One of the, I think the message of the film, which was evident by the way they ended the film. 
Because <laughs> like right when I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we're done. Yeah. Uh, and the point is, it doesn't matter that if these people did it or not. Of course not. It. The the point was that the politician wanted to look like he did a good job. Yes, and the police. And the police. And the police look like they did a good job. Can't go against what the government says. Because right. There's, at, at least in this region, there was no separation between the police and the politicians. Correct. Uh, which obviously there should be. Um, but the fact that it just ended and these people are going to go to jail yep. for, or at least be, be punished for something they didn't do. After having been blackmailed. Yep. Yeah. To play along with the game. Which, what you mentioned about... The connective tissue between politicians and police and corruption in both. Yeah. That has been a consistent theme in pretty much everything we've seen. Yeah. From Sacred Games to Murzapur oh. to Family Man to Delhi Crime. Yeah. And then to films we've seen. Yeah. And that moment when they're sitting across the desk and he's blackmailing them, it becomes very evident that one of the primary messages is when it comes to law enforcement and politicians... It's not about right and wrong. Mm -hmm. It's about looking good. Are you people going to vote for you? Are, Correct. It's are, about are, keeping the power. Is the media going to go with you? And how will I be perceived? Yep. And when I go to bed at night, I can justify it because I've saved my own ass and I've saved the ass of the people in power above me. And if you don't play along with the system the way we play along with the system, you're going to get chewed up by the system. And then, like our lead guy... He's a guy for 20 years who played mm -hmm. by the system, framed people, blackmailed, did all the corrupt stuff, mm -hmm. and then just because he happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, system eats him up. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and it was it was really well, and we didn't talk about uh, this gentleman, but he did a really good job as well. Very, uh, very good job. Um, yeah, uh, Concha, uh, Conchaco Boban. Yeah, so he was more like the, because the other guy was, was the Fafa for me. Yeah, he, right? He was more like the, the one that was... Not really corrupt yet. He was almost new, and she yeah. wasn't either. She wasn't either because they were both pretty green compared to yeah. him. He was the guy that had been around a long time. Yeah, he was the one that, that that you were kind of, but you felt for every single one of them, and they even put characters in like the the, the woman that was chasing him. Mm -hmm. um, at the end, you just see her staring at her, and you could tell that she was the one that was chasing him was bothered. By what yes. just happened, but she's letting it happen. Yep. Well, and she got a similar situation too, where she's just doing her job. Mm -hmm. She's on the phone. He tells her, this is the way it's going to go down. And she just straight up goes, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that was great, that yeah. moment. <laughs> <laughs> and that, she was like, I think the audience at that point was like, what the fuck is yeah. going on? Like, right. <laughs> what? <laughs> how is this how we do things? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, obviously that, that whole message and it just, it just ends. And at first I was like, really? We're just, end we're not gonna, and I was like, okay, that's obviously the point of, I, and I, and I like it. I go to the end of the credits anyway, because I just want to see all the names. It just is important to me to see every name of every person, right? But I also, because they brought back some of the credits, I was like, okay, are they going to bring back yeah. some, Are they going to do a Marvel on us? What are they yeah. going to do here? <laughs> I, was for a I was like, oh. oh yeah. Also, you know who else did well? He had a really small role. The guy in the beginning who was antagonizing the... Uh, the yeah, the, who got arrested real yeah. quick and got out. He, he had a real he small great. role, but he had really good screen presence. I don't... I don't maybe he I did a find great him. job. He knew who he were... He didn't remind me of him in terms of style or anything else, but the so the solid nature of his performance yeah, and how he stood out with such a small part reminded me a lot of the way Nawaz stood out in his early small yeah. parts. Yeah, absolutely. Where it's like, that guy's going to go somewhere. Yeah. I felt the same way. Absolutely. I thought he did a really good job. Uh, the, the, the little... <laughs> She's a legend in Mali. Yeah, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know. I can't find that. That guy's going to go places. Uh, I thought he did really, really well. Um, the, the, the one guy that was above the girl that was chasing him, the the police officer who was who she reported to yeah he wasn't the strongest no uh character or, well, or, the, he, or fell into the, he fell into that category of like the day player for me yeah. it's, it's small enough that it's not supporting there was a couple others but for the most part i thought everybody did well i thought i yeah. love the moment when you just and you, you kind of saw it coming uh when obviously he hung himself and yeah at the end but i thought it was good and then they literally carried his body I was like, oh my god. Yeah. And like that to that extent they 
they're trying to cover up because obviously they brought in these fake people to look like they caught the people. How about that? And I was like, what the? <laughs> it makes you, it really does make you yeah. wonder how many times has that happened? Not yeah. just in India, anywhere. Anywhere. How many times have we thought something was true and someone was apprehended because of the pressures of, we have to get this done or I won't get reelected, or I'm gonna get fired, or we're gonna lose face with the public. And so they come up with some contrivance mm -hmm. that isn't really what happened, and they cover up the behind this. And now, I know that happens with our military yeah. who do the ultra, like, like Navy SEAL level stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's stuff that goes on all the time. <clears throat> we didn't even know what happened. We hear a secondary story, and the real story we'll never know. Yeah, absolutely. But when you're talking about local policing and local politics, yeah. Yeah. This, is, this, is, this is, I think, obviously the message is the police and the government should kind of be separate to do, like, just like here in America, the FBI, the yeah. president yeah. shouldn't be in cahoots like they were for four years here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, so, uh, the, it's supposed to be, uh, and it, it wasn't, yeah. uh, unfortunately. There's a couple of administrations yeah. that have been a little too in bed together when it comes to the FBI and be. the federal government because it's supposed to be... They should be absolutely apart. Absolutely separate. For corruption reasons. Exactly. Uh, but for this, I thought the, the the thriller part of it, there was the times that you your adrenaline did get going and you like you you didn't want them to get caught and, and, and all this different stuff. And so I thought they did that the, with the score, I thought helped. Yeah, the ton. score helps so um, you just it just at the end it, it did exactly what I was hoping when they're surrounding the place yeah. and they're getting close to them. That music kicked back in, and I was like, oh, thank you, because I loved it. Every time that the chase was on, yeah. that music was in there. And really great. Uh, it, I, it never dragged because of the score, the cinematography, the editing, and the two-hour runtime. I mean, yeah. it just went clip, clip, clip. Went real fast. Yeah, so it's, a, it's a really enjoyable movie. Yeah, I, I would definitely recommend it. I think, especially if you're, I, I mean, I'm assuming most people from uh, Kerala uh, probably have seen this film already because it's it's getting a lot of buzz right now. And I think they could even appreciate it even more than we could. Absolutely. Just because they're in that world. Yep. Uh, and they know probably specific stories that this might have been hinting at that, that yeah. happened that we don't know about. It's also so. a really good thing, and I don't know if they intended to do this, mm -hmm. but right now... People want to escape, but they don't want things to get too heavy because there's just enough heaviness going on. Yeah. I think they did a great job. This is a great recommendation mm -hmm. during COVID problems because it's heavy enough to be serious and dramatic, but it doesn't get so heavy that you're like, oh. Also, I mean, we've always been impressed with Molly Allen, but how about this year for Molly Allen? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> great Indian Kitchen, Briani, Joji, Joji, this, and I don't. Those are just the ones we, we've seen. Yeah, uh, and I don't. No one else is really putting out no. films this year. It's, it's like it's like a baseball team coming up or a cricket team coming up, and there's like you know six hits in a row. Just whack, 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 whack. All right, come on, keep bringing it on. Uh, yeah, and then. Uh... What's, uh, the only other film I know that's come out really recently is probably the Salman Khan one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I know people aren't thrilled with it. Yeah, that, that one. <laughs> uh, we haven't seen it or anything, but I, I saw in Times of India. Yeah. It was like it said it was his like, lowest Lord, rated yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, we we didn't see it. doesn't make us happy. We're no, just, it's just that's that's the only one. That's I the only through. one. Like Malian is just so many films. Everyone else has been pushing their stuff back. Yeah. Um, but... Let us know what you thought about this film. Uh, what should be the next Malayalam film that we watch down below?